this is Jojo. Today I am going to be talking to you about gerbils and how sneaky they can be and what escape artists they can be. If you're not sure what a gerbil is, they're a little animal about like this. They look like hamsters. The difference is they have a tail. If you're not sure what one looks like, here's a picture. They're really cute, fun little animals. Well, I decided to get Kate and Bennett a gerbil for Christmas. And we talked about how important it was going to be to clean out their cage, give them fresh water, and give them food. And they both promised that they would take great care of the gerbils and I would help some as well. So when they, Christmas came, they were so excited to have the gerbils. Santa left the gerbils for them. And there were two. And there was a black one, which Kate chose, and she named her gerbil Midnight. Bennett's gerbil was brown and crazy Bennett. Do you know what he named his? Sausage. I know, silly, right? Anyway, they were so excited and we had them for several months and everybody was doing such a great job, you know, keeping up with them and taking responsibility. And then one day I went in to feed the gerbils and the cage door was open and they were gone. So I had to tell Kate and Bennett, we were all very sad, searching the house, looking everywhere for them, couldn't find them. We had to go to bed that night with no gerbils. So the next day we woke up, we were searching again, couldn't find them. Then that night I was upstairs and I saw this black thing run across the ground and I saw it in the corner of my eye and it was midnight. I was like, yes, I found midnight. So midnight went and hid under Kate's bed. It took me about an hour, but I finally got midnight out. I scooped him up and I put him in the cage and I closed the door, but sausage was still missing. So we had to go to bed another night without sausage. So the next day I decided I would put little treats out and if the treats were gone, then I knew sausage was in the house, but there still was no luck. So it was bedtime again. Kate and Bennett went to bed and I was downstairs and I had to go into the bathroom downstairs and it was really quiet and I'm in the bathroom and I hear this sound. And I'm like, what is that? And I was trying to figure out where it was coming from and I hear it again. And I turn around and I hear it one more time. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, so I had an idea I was like it might be it might not but I have to check so I got a little drywall saw and I cut a little square in the wall when I took the square out of the wall I looked in and it was sausage I was like oh my gosh sausage how did you get in the wall so I scooped sausage up took him upstairs put him in the cage and closed the door and we were all so excited but we still are wondering how did he get in the wall and how crazy is it that we found him? So what I'm thinking is maybe, because they're sneaky, he went maybe in the pipes in the bathroom, slid down and somehow ended up in the wall. We have our gerbils, but now I have a hole in the wall. That's okay, it can be fixed and we have the gerbils. And they never ever got out again. The end. 